One of the challenges, one of the things I see people face, the biggest challenges I see people face, uh, especially being empathic, spiritual, and wanting to even pursue a business, is people tend to overcompensate. They don't really realize that they're people pleasing or that they are giving way too much to others, too much energy, too much time, too much attention to others, and not really giving that time and energy to themselves. And what happens is you become burnt out you become disconnected, you become uh, resentful and you just want to spend time alone. You just feel like you need to be alone and that perhaps um, you just want to get away from everything. And you're not realizing that what's happening is there's a need to give from a place of lack. You're wanting to give from a place of lack, to feel love, to feel connection. When in actuality, that love and connection is not going anywhere. In fact, the more that you love yourself and appreciate yourself, the better you feel inside and the more you want to give anyway. And it's not from a place of lack, it's from a place of, of abundance because you feel full. When you feel full and you can maintain that fullness inside of you and you're giving from that space, things become a lot better. So it's always important to set time aside for you to rejuvenate, to recover. Even if it's just like 15 minutes in the bath, you know, getting an Epsom salt bath or whatever it is. You want to find times in your day when you're not on your phone, when you're not on social media, when you're not, you know, chasing, replying to people on text messages, when you're not um, wanting to, you know, give to your family, friends, whatever it is, where you just spend time alone. This will be harder for people who are extroverted. Um, people who are introverted will find this really easy. But people who are extroverted, you'll find it's a little bit more challenging. But again, your energy is your currency, right? Your energy is your currency. Without energy, you're nothing. And so you wanna take care of your energy, your energy levels, how much energy you're putting out, and realizing that energy goes down, it's a currency. So as you're spending and spending and giving and giving more energy, that energy is gonna go down and you're emptying your cup. And so what you wanna do is fill the cup back up with things that you like to do, the things that you like to enjoy. And really, enjoying it and being present with it and not thinking that you need to be doing something else that you need to be doing this and that and giving to that person and giving attention to your business and doing this and doing that right you want to completely be in the white zone instead of the gray zone the gray zone is when you're doing something like a project you're working or whatever it is and now you're thinking about some other thing you should be doing or you're having fun and you're doing your own thing but you're thinking that you should be working okay if you're spending time with the wife or the kids or the husband or whatever it is, spend time with them, be totally present with them. And then when it's time to go back to work or whatever it is, you totally focus on that and pay that its full attention. All right. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure to comment below an affirmation or affirmation to keep on reprogramming your subconscious mind for success. And we do offer one-on-one -on -one coaching if you want my help in reprogramming your subconscious mind and helping you become the person that you know you ought to be, then check out the link in the description at neutralityshifting.com. Keep learning, keep growing, keep expanding, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.